Hello, hello, this is coming up next. My new version, unique earrings. Yeah, you can put a hook on it, no hook, no adding hook, and wrapping in the, the end. There you go. And this is coming up next. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Hello, hello, hello. And good afternoon. It's 4 p.m. here in America. And welcome to Darlene Workshop. Yes, let's make a cast up for us to do to make an extra income okay i'm just just i'm saying before this is my unique way my version way of making an earring another style of earring okay see this kind of hook here is attached with this whole whole wire this is i can use 18 soft wires for this and leave a little hole or like a ring round rings for that round rings so that you can hook it like that okay and wrap around this wrapping on the middle okay there but anyway we i got a ring here female ring and male rings okay and i figured that i'm going to make an earring it also okay this is my version unique either i do the style like this okay it's in the middle just a style and this is the hook you push down so that you can get the hook out of there okay if you need adjusting or oh, the style is over here any kind of style this is all my practice only see small earrings see this is your round see the hook that in your earlobe and just push it and put it right there and you can adjust it okay this is all the earrings small one for the kids okay so different kind of style all right see this is how i practice first okay then i make a the real one okay this is my pattern pattern means you have to to um, follow that to this to make it happen all right this is 20 gauge soft i'm just trying to clean it up that way you work it smooth okay i want to master this my new project that way i can sell it for my ex extra income so let's measure it i'll say 12 inches long okay or i'm gonna do is make another one of this all right 12 inches long and there's my tool to cut this 
plus cutter make sure the one is straight not crooked okay so then what i do for this i will see my tools here ready for that Try to bend that in a half, just like that. And then you hold it like that. Make sure it's in a half. Slip it. Slowly squeeze it. What you are doing to do is leave a little like a ring jumper, jumper ring, and make a little dent enough to insert this hook okay this is fine see it's fine right there then you straighten up okay it's kind of hot excuse me It's trying to turn the air. Okay. So I got that, like that. It's gonna be look like this. Okay. Now, I have to measure this two inches long. Two inches from here to there. Two inches. Okay. I got the two inches. Now I will get one of this. You either your right. I'm a right-handed, so I pick one of this and try to hold that tight. This is just a lot. Uh, not elastic. But uh, I forgot what to call that, but I made that to, to use to hold like that from the two inches. You hold that because you are going to, to make a wrapping over there. This way, I'm a right handed. This is a elastic. Okay, that way it won't hurt the coating of your wires and the wires don't get any damage from that. You're gonna hold it tight because when you wrap this, okay, you wrap that toward the ends of this. Okay, you wrap it close and up together. Try not to make uh, gaps right there. And 
and keep wrapping but hold tight with this while you're wrapping because sometimes it will twist this one here you don't want to do that so tight and tight wrapping okay sometimes it will dent but it's okay you adjust it you adjust sometimes the wire not cooperate with you but you're the boss okay If you master this, you can make a lot of this and you started giving us a gift or sell it with you, to your friend, relatives, okay? And just make an extra income while you're having your regular job. You do this in your spare time, okay? I'm retired and I can do this video of blogging anytime. This is my therapy. I want to serve you guys of how I make a jewelry to make an extra income for you. Okay? It's gonna be like this. See? See, you grip that real tight. See? Smooth. No twisting. That's the way it's going to be look like. This one there. You adjust it later. See? Okay? And over here, you can just pull it like that. It's too hot, but it's been raining this morning. Now it's too hot. The weather here is crazy. See, I'm just turning here to make another loop, to make another wrapping as I can. Yeah. Okay. So, this is going to be look like it's two inches of that. What I'm going to do, you started to make a circularization, circular or shape like a earring. With this mandrel. When you do that, you make sure it's in the middle, okay? Like that. Okay? Just, just keep on adjusting. I got a bigger mandal here. Trying to match this one here.
like that trying too much okay you just gonna adjust that layer on it's still working on that see this one here which is supposed to be doing like that insert that one there yeah trying to match this like that oops sorry see i'm trying to match okay so what i do i bent this a little bit okay you make it like this and match it again it's even okay so Sorry, supposed to show you. Okay, like that. See? And we're getting there. It's still a little bigger, but I got another idea. This one, Seagram. No, not to drink, but that's my last trial to make the round earrings. Okay, to make it like this one. So I put right there, and there it is. If you keep practice this, that's what I'm saying. You keep practice this, you master it. And you started making your regular income. See, there's the rounding. Right? And we match that again. Okay a little bit bigger but you adjust that over here see it's getting better so you match it you match that right there and right there and let me see a little bit more adjusting they look good to me see okay but make sure you want to be perfect if you're going to sell this all right there you go perfect it's much and the round is and short so young so when you got the size now i have to figure this out lol 
there. It's magic. You do the magic. So I got this. I have to cut that. Because it's, it's, it's long. Don't cut too short now. It's better longer than very short. Okay? There. Be honest with you, I got it short over here, but it's just a trial. See, this is how much I got left. And there it is. There it is. Around. Don't this one here you make sure it's even. If it's not even you cut plus that to make it smooth. And then you bend a little bit. Okay. Like that. That's a little bit to hook and you remove it to hook it down and remove. You open like this. See how I open? I close like this. I open like this. I close like that. Either way, you open this way or that way, but you hook it up. There we go. There's your new set of earrings. Okay, and we put it back in there. There's a set of earrings. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put that I'm back and then I put it like this. Ta -da! And then this blessing earring is ready to travel everywhere okay i just hook this like that let me see i'm gonna put the rough outside like this And hook it like this. And Ta -da! Ta -da! you to learn something from me I'm just sharing my skill okay if you have hobbies like making doers arts and crafts like me okay thank you for watching and welcome to darling workshop appreciate it bye bye now one more time I'm just gonna take a photo bye bye now thank you Shout out to Darlene!